called Bruna Bonya, or the Mansion of the Boyne by the Gales, it was reputed to be the home of Angus the Young, one of the two of the and an entrance to Turn and Oak, which ties in with local folklore and myths of death and rebirth. The High Kings of Tara were also reputed to be buried in the Bru before the advent of Christianity in the 5th century AD. Newgrange is mentioned in the 12th century annals of Leinster as a place of importance and sacredness to the pagan Irish who lived before Christianity. But for all this, very little was really known about the place. Still, it remained buried in the Irish psyche, half-remembered and glamorized as a special place. Nobody really knows what happened to the people who built the passage tombs of the Boyne. The lack of defenses in and around the great monuments suggests that they were not a warlike race more dedicated to farming the rich land than fighting. So perhaps they were conquered by new immigrants, the legend of the Tua de Danum being defeated by the Milesians and the Tua returning to their underworld home through the tombs offers one possible explanation. Perhaps the elaborate cult of tomb construction with its expense of time and resources finally took its toll on the people. What the people of the Boyne left behind them has stood for 5,000 years and been immortalized in myth legend and song. To this day it remains a tribute to the ingenuity, the triumph of their spirit, a monument to immortality. That's the significance that we're, we have a thread to our culture which hasn't been examined, which is far, far older than anybody suspects. Uh, these symbols definitely, I think, uh, indicate the perception of the divine.